Right now we are looking to our famous classified vineyard which is called Saarburger Rausch. Rausch can have two meanings in the German language. One is getting a hangover because of drinking too much, but that's not the point with our wines because they are always very light in alcohol, so just forget it. The most important thing is that Rausch is an old word for a hillside or a mountain which is covered by stone. And of course here it is covered by Devonian slate, and which is very thin plated and you can break it very easily with your hands and it's giving up a lot of minerals to the wine. And moreover, we have another soil type, which is called diabas. It's a volcanic eruption stone, and um, both are giving a special mineral taste to our wines. The vineyard, Saarburger Rausch, is in total 20 hectares, and we are owning 10 hectares, and the rest um, is divided up to five different wineries, so we have the biggest part in it, and we are very happy. In total, we are owning 11 hectare, 10 in the Saarburger Rausch and one in the Ockfner Bockstein, which is just the next village on the other side of the river. For us, it is very important that our vineyards are, are very steep and south-facing, so they have always enough sun and um, they are between 30 and 60 degrees of steepness, so sometimes it's very hard to work there, but um, we are very glad to have those great workers who are helping us. <laughs> Our family is producing wine since more than 260 years. Originally, our winery has been located on the other side of the river, but also in the village of Saarburg. In the Second World War, it was destroyed by bombing um, on Christmas time, and so my grandfather has to look for another cellar. Luckily, he was able to buy this one by an old salesperson. And perhaps you are wondering why we are using those old oak barrels, which are neutral, not toasted. That's very important for us. Um, we are producing only Riesling and we think Riesling is the best grape for our soil and we think those old German oak barrels are perfect for the harmony in the wines. They are just um, rounding a bit the mouth feeling. So the acidity is not too much in the foreground. We love to have acidity because it's making the wine so fresh and elegant, but it never should be in the foreground. And that's why we love to work with them. It's very traditional and it's very hard work, but we think it's worth it. Um, my parents and I, we are working together. So my father and I, we have studied Oenology and Viticulture in Geisenheim in a small university <laughs> and um, he has taken over the business in the year 76 and I'm going to take his job over in the next, um, after four years, then he will, yeah, he will retire, but I hope he will still work on my side because I really need his experience, especially in our, in our older wines, because we love to store Rieslings longer and he's the only one, he, he can really tell a story behind the wines and how they are changing and so I really love to work with my parents on and on. <laughs> Now we are um, still in the deepest cellar at the Saar, but in our treasure chamber. So here we store only the very good vintages and the highest quality wines. So here you can find wines from 20 euros up to well. 1,000 euros, for example. Yeah. <laughs> um, but um, we love to play with the aging process of wines because it's such it's making for us such a fun to drink wines younger and then after five years after ten years they are changing the character a bit the minerality is um, having the chance to come more in the foreground because the residual sugar is going away a bit and so the wine sometimes seems to be drier than they are mm -hmm. and so more and more restaurants are um, taking those wines in combination with food because if you're thinking concerning roasted food it, it is a lovely pairing you okay. should just try it uh -huh. <laughs> and so here in our treasure chamber we have wines from the vintage 49 up to the good vintage 10 or 11. Yeah. <laughs> so from the Spätlese up to the Trockenbeeren aus Lese or Eiswein, we have here enough opportunities. Um, and we are still selling those wines because there are a few community of freaks that really love to taste riper Rieslings because it's a totally different aroma. And so um, we are still selling all those wines and it's making fun um, to see how they are changing. So let's 
just let's try it. Okay. <laughs> now we are tasting our new wine butterfly. Mm -hmm. We are producing always this wine, but we are having just changed the name of the wine because um, 10 years ago the wine was called quality wine medium dry, which doesn't <laughs> seem to be very elegant. Mm -hmm. And so we have been always looking for another name for the wine. We didn't want to change the wine by itself, but only the name of it. And um, so a lot of wine journalists, for example, Stuart Piggott, they always described our wines that they are elegant like butterflies. Okay. And so we thought, well, let's keep that name.